What's up everybody, Isaac Okuson here with Civil Engineering Academy. Today I'm jumping on real quick and today we're going to discuss what grade you really need to pass the civil PE exam and how are they grading this and also what are the pass rates um, for first time takers and repeat takers. So stick around and we'll get answers to these questions and more. Okay, so the question today is, what grade do you really need in order to pass the civil PE exam? Also, how is it scored and what are the passing rates for the exam? So typically, um, let's start with that last question. Typically, the pass rates for this exam hover between 60 and 70 percent. I would say on average, if you are a first time taker, it's about 65 percent that you'll uh, have a chance of passing if you prepare well. If you're a repeat taker, that percentage drops all the way down to somewhere around 38 to 40 percent, something like that. All right, so real quick, I wanted to jump onto the NCS website, and if you just do a quick search and search for pass rates, you can bring this up. This was as of April 2018, where we are looking at these pass rates. They have pass rates for every single PE exam available, but all we care about, because we're civil engineers, is PE civil. So, all right, so we've got uh, these five areas. If you look at the volumes for first time takers, the most, this testing period was 1741 with transportation and 64% passed. But if you go at to the top, you've got construction at 58%, geo at 61, structural at 59, uh, transpo at 64, and then water resources at 71. If you're a repeat taker, you can see the volume of testers there, and then your percentage drops down to 28%, 29%, 38% 44% so these testing um, grades I can tell are actually a little lower than what they typically are um, they, they usually are a little higher hovering around 65 to 70% for first timers and then repeat takers usually between 35 and 40 but for this period it looks like either the exam was pretty tough or whatnot but for any whatever reason they they were low but this is uh, definitely gives you the I, I, an idea of how um, you get a passing rate and what it, it typically is. You want to be a first time taker, you want to be a higher percentage taker, then you, you got to put in the effort to get it done the first, the first time, okay? Don't be discouraged by those numbers. They can look discouraging, uh, but just keep in mind that you have about, if you're a first time taker, you're around 70% uh, as your chance of passing the exam. So let's prepare well and make sure that you fall in that 70%. So what is a passing grade? Uh, on average, I would say that you typically need about a 70% to pass. Uh, what this equates to is about 56 questions that you need to get right. Now, they add up the total exam. You have 40 questions in the morning and 40 questions in the afternoon. But uh, so if you can get a mix of about 56 questions right, you'll probably be okay. Now that's not always the case because they're, they go into a lot more detail as to what needs to happen in order to grade these things. In fact, I'll read you a couple things uh, straight from the NCES website on how they score this stuff. It gets quite intensive, but I would say on average, you're probably around 70% as a passing grade. But if you jump onto the NCES website, and check out their scoring, uh, uh, they mentioned that after each exam uh, that it undergoes an ex extensive statistical analysis to determine the minimum level of performance required uh, for entry into the profession. So there's a rigorous process that happens and they follow uh, five particular steps. Okay, So the first step that they do is that all answer sheets are scanned as they are received and scanners are calibrated before um, the actual scoring okay so they throw it in a scantron make and it automatically will check that out and see how your score is right the second thing they do is they do a psychometric analysis which is performed on a sample of answer sheets from each multiple choice exam so what they do is they they use this to identify any questions with really unusual statistics they might throw some of those out or they'll flag them to see if they can come back and review them um, i'm not sure exactly what they do with those but i imagine that if a lot of people got one particular problem wrong for whatever reason that they might 
toss that one out. The third thing that they do is they say that at least two subject matter experts who are licensed engineers or surveyors review the flagged items in addition um, to the subject matter experts consider examining comments about the specific exam questions they also uh, say that if the reviews confirm an error in the question credit may be given for more than one answer and step four they say when the analysis and reviews are completed the NCES changes the answer key as necessary the passing score and final correct answers for each exam are then used to score all answer sheets a percentage of the answer sheets are manually verified and the results are compared to the machine score to ensure its accuracy. And then lastly, the NCES releases the results to the licensing boards and the testing agencies who in turn report the results to the examinees. So it's an extensive process. They go through five different steps here before they release the results to you. You know that there are a team of experts that are going through each one of these questions and at the end of the day, they're not trying to screw you if you screwed up pretty bad on the exam. But um, so anyway, that's the detailed answer to that question on the scoring. Um, but just keep in mind that if you're around 70%, which is about 56 questions right out of 80, that you'll probably be okay. So anyway, that's my tip for you. Um, stick around, hang out and review the other videos we have on some of these quick tips on how to pass the PE exam, the FE, or any civil advice. Uh, head to civilengineeringacademy.com for more information. And also, we would love for you to join our free Facebook community at ceacommunity.com. Jump on and participate. We would love to have you there. So anyway, we'll see you next time. Bye.